Okay, guys, so um, just a little update on the W124 OM606 build. Um, got the pump, the new pump, um, rebuilt by uh, John and Port Leash. Um, these are specialists in Ireland here. Um, and obviously, I haven't tested it, but he was a top guy to talk to and everything like that so uh, i have no question he knew he knew his stuff about these 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 pumps um so the rebuild kit was as i said um these are pump uk's 7.7s he left the this alder here on and i'm really hoping that that won't be uh, an issue fouling on the um on the intake manifold uh it quite possibly is i really don't want to have to take the pump back off so um i followed uh luke dale's advice on how to do this job and everything like that um it all sort of really kind of touch wood went to plan uh the uh the filter came off uh kind of breaking nearly all those clips so that did not go to plan that part um but the the you know that's only one thing i think um just to make it easier with banjos and all the different connections and everything like that i might go for the old deep filter housing um, that came off it that's basically the match to that pump came off the exact same car and that came off nice and clean um, so I have everything there for that my concern with it is that top piece here do you like my little uh, toy house in the background that's my daughter's um, but this part here leaked quite a lot so I found it very hard to to get the car started because well it was like a bleed bleeding of some sort but it just never stopped bleeding is the problem um so that wasn't that was no good uh, but i think there's o-ring kits you can get for that to solve that problem or possibly i could just uh, take this part off here and actually just fit it on and that would solve that so set the engine to 10 degrees after top dead center um which was wrong for the pump but was right for uh wrong for the, the pump I was taking off, which was actually the pump, believe it or not, must have been chain chain um, stretch, but the pump, the EDC pump was sitting at, it could have been, could have been chain stretch, it could have been, um, could have been somebody previously working on the engine and that, and just didn't know, but they had it at 18 degrees past top dead center. Now, I believe 14 degrees is standard. So that's four degrees of a difference um, in, in its lifespan. Maybe a previous technician, maybe it's stretching the chain. The chain feels really tight. It's a little bit, kind of, well, no, it's not loose now. It was a little bit loose when, um, well, obviously when I was working on it just there, but it seems pretty good now after going through a couple of revolutions. So anyway, I um, just try and kind of speed this video up for you. Uh, I had it at 10 degrees after top dead center. Uh, this was this pump was timed up, locked. Put on, I put it on locked, um, and I had let down the adjustment here, like Luke had said. Now, what I do notice is we're fairly down on the and across here. You might be able to see across on the on the elliptical um, lugs, um, but anyway. So I let that down before I fitted it, fitted, fitted this, tightened it all back up. I tightened this up, tightened everything up basically. Um, took the locking tool out and it was perfectly centered as it should be. Kind of tested it as well to make sure that it was always going to fit. So the, the locking tool was working perfectly. Um, rotated the engine twice, came back, looked and, uh, you know, got it at 10 degrees, wasn't right, got it and it was 12. So I've heard this before. This is not the first time. Uh, I was talking to a um, 
a guy that I kind of talked to quite a lot about these, which is Christoph, and he was saying that he actually ended up fitting his engine at nine degrees past top dead center, so that on its when or fitting the pump, and, and when he did his revolutions, it came in at eleven. So I'm okay with twelve. Um, do you know I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, worry too much about that one degree or uh, rather it would be two degrees I'm sure ten degrees is what people go for isn't it ten degrees after top the center for the for the um, diesel pump UK pumps but anyway so that that sort of all went well at the same time when I had the the old EDC is it EDC yeah electrically distribution control I don't know diesel control I don't know um the I took the uh glow plugs out I was really kind of terrifying that job terrified of that job because I did it in situ um in the blue donor engine let's say this this engine over here and uh, that's the naturally aspirated one and it was such a, a pain and it was because of this Alda, this external Alda. Um, and I and I kind of said to myself when I had the pump off, you see there, that's your line of sight. So you can get at that one sort of all right, but this one back here, so that's number three, is just impossible with this here. It's really, really tough. And um, I ended up sort of mangling two anyway, but... And that one was definitely mangled on the when I did it in situ. When I took the pump off and fitted and did it, it was perfect. Very easy job. Uh, sort of came loose there, fine. Um, there was quite a bit of carbon because you could feel it. Um, and then what I did was I got a reamer, which was this one here, which I kind of matched up to to that. Um, and I reamed, I reamed out the uh, each each of the glow plug ports. Now, what I would say is, it wouldn't go in at first on any of them really. It was just hitting the wall, and I was using the drill, but I was kind of going slow at it because I didn't want to run the run any kind of damage or anything like that. But even with it going slow and kind of not being able to, it was kind of sitting, let's say, back here, if you can imagine. And I was sort of having to put a little bit of pressure on it and work it through, and then eventually I'd get it the whole way down. But uh, there wasn't that much carbon coming out, so I don't know what the story is. There was this in here. There was bits of carbon, um, kind of build up, but it wasn't like you can see a little bit of a remnant there. But it wasn't anything huge. Um, now the previous person had, you can see, put anti C's quite literally everywhere on these glow plugs. Uh, so I can only imagine if it was, if this anti seize was the whole way down here like it looks to be uh, on these, I would think that the glowing procedure was going to be quite bad because these would have been, possibly would they have been earthing themselves as in um, we're killing the, the current and essentially not working at all, or or am I am I wrong in thinking that when you get a lot of build up of the carbon, it does the same thing. It conducts uh, electricity, and then you you basically earth it out. So there's no there's no current, no reason for these to get hot at all. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that. So maybe you guys could could answer that one. Uh, just a, a curiosity now at this stage. But what I'll do is I I even though these look good, um, I'll swap them out. For new ones, they look sort of very good though, so uh, maybe maybe I'll just run a test on them. I don't know. I think I'll probably just swap them out for new, just for peace of mind. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty happy with uh, everything, the way it sort of went. I sort I watched that video that Luke Dale did of how to do it a few times, and um, watched it again this morning just before trying to do it while having my. Uh, my cereal and um yeah i'm pretty pretty happy with it um i do wonder if i'll be able to clear this with that um exhaust or sorry with that inlet manifold um and everything like that but yeah it all kind of went swimmingly so 
Um, 12 degrees after top dead center. Seems okay to me. I wouldn't be too worried. 14 degrees is standard. We're still getting a little bit of a gain there in compression. Um, presumably that's how it works or the, the actual timing of the, of the compression or timing of the, um, the engine. So yeah, pretty, pretty happy so far. I need to get a, need to get a new gasket. Um, and yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. I need to get a new gasket for that. Uh, I did run the risk here when I fitted this uh, pump. I reused the O-ring. I could not find the the uh, original or the, the new O-ring for that. Um, and yeah, so what do you guys think about the the uh, the filter housing? Do I just take that bolt out, fit it to that? Do I get an O-ring kit for the old type? Um, yeah. And the only other thing was the I had because I took the it off this engine I had the appropriate back mount here. So if you're doing it yourselves at home, uh, that's the one thing I would say. There is a sizable difference between the two, um, between this one and the EDC one, which looks to be sort of further, basically longer this way than this one. This one's narrower that way, and um, so. Just to bear that in mind. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the help I'm getting. Uh, as I say, I'm a novice to all this kind of thing, so um, a novice that's kind of really big into it, but still not uh, too um, too kind of uh, capable. I just sort of have a go and keep pushing the boat out. Uh, appreciate you watching. Cheers. Bye.